Also tonight, Leon, terrifying moments this morning for a Prince William County family after a car slammed through their front door. News Chopper 7 flew over the scene in Woodbridge, where police say a stolen car driven by a group of teenagers crashed after a deputy spotted them. Our Suzanne Kennedy joins us from the scene with what the family says may have saved their lives. Suzanne? Allison, the people who were inside this home at 8 o'clock this morning say they thought a plane had crashed in their front yard. Tonight, the four teens accused of stealing that vehicle are in police custody, and this home is uninhabitable. The speeding stolen Chevy Silverado slammed through the front door of this Woodbridge house as the day was just getting started. And I heard a really loud bang. Four teens who had allegedly stolen the truck in Manassas last night were trying to elude a sheriff's deputy. They lost control of the vehicle on Cardinal Drive, then crashed into this four bedroom house. You know, because it was just such a shocking thing. I could not imagine what was going on. Krista Balfoza was upstairs with her mother and sisters. The truck stopped just feet away from her youngest sister, a five year old, on the first floor. I was scared. My sister, she was downstairs in the, ba in, in the kitchen eating. I was so worried for her. I cannot, I cannot say her. I jumped down that big hole that was dug on the stairs to get her. When I came, I just saw her screaming. I was so happy. I just took her and rushed out. The crash woke neighbors who thought it was a simple car accident. And then I looked out one of the windows that I could get a better view of it. And that's when I was shocked to see the truck sticking out of the house. As the truck was being removed, the home's owner expressed gratitude that his family was okay. Because they usually stand at that window to watch their buses when they're coming to pick them up to school. If they stood at that, that window or at the door as they usually stand, you can imagine what would have happened. Authorities say those four teens walked away from a juvenile detention facility in Manassas last night. None of them were injured. Tonight, charges against them are pending. Reporting live in Woodbridge, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News. Wow.